Packing your bags for the holidays or trying to escape the bitter cold? Tonight, Amira David has three cost-saving hacks you need to know before you book your tickets so you don't waste your money. Packing the bag, that's the easy part. Booking the travel, on the other hand, is where all the stress comes in. But this next expert tells me if you shop smart, you'll always shop stress-free. Pretty much avoid it. Um, avoid it. People usually come here, which is great. Most Metro Detroiters we spoke to weren't keen on traveling for the holiday. Of those that are traveling, some are paying an arm and a leg. Probably about $600. It can be expensive and stressful, but if you've still got your heart set on getting out of town this holiday, then there is a way to do it. Travel on that non-traditional day. Don't try to maximize uh, the weekend or the entire holiday period uh, and like everybody else is trying to do. I compared the prices myself using kayak to book a flight to Washington Reagan Airport, leaving the Friday before Christmas, returning the Sunday after. I found a direct flight for $348. But by switching up the dates, leaving the Sunday before Christmas, returning the Friday after, I found the same flight departing and returning at the same time for $80 cheaper. But in general, flight savings expert Gary Left says the best deals on flights, holidays included, should be booked one to four months in advance and no more. You don't want to be too far out. Don't really look to book your tickets a year in advance. Those flights aren't going to sell out uh, and you know airlines haven't even loaded their cheap discount fares yet. Timing is everything, but so is playing around with other variables like the amount of people you're booking for. If there's one cheap seat left, you're searching for two people, you're not going to see the cheap price. So as a second tip, try booking each person separately instead. And lastly, beware of all the new policies on baggage. You may think you're getting a deal when you're not. United Airlines cheapest airline fares, the basic economy fares, don't let you bring on a full-size carry-on, so you need to spend more with them. You want to make sure you're comparing apples to apples. Low-priced airliners like Frontier and Allegiant also charge you extra for a carry-on bag. Meanwhile, Southwest Air has higher prices, but always allows a carry-on and two checked bags at no extra cost. And another way to save is by using a frequent flyer program, especially if you like to shop with a specific airline. It's really easy to sign up, you can do it on your phone, and it could potentially save you hundreds of dollars every year. For now at Detroit Metro, Amira David, 7 Action News.